please forgive me for the two month delay i know i'll be capping in my videos yapping about being consistent i'm gonna post this down the third but shit be getting busy man like the past you know what i'm saying two two months no videos end up being recorded because i was hella busy but i definitely got y'all this time with this tutorial basically it's an effect based off a part i did in the new Endly chop up music video with big x the plug so yeah let's jump right into that first things first what you're gonna need is a 3d bullet model secondly you're gonna have to have element 3d already installed into your after effects and if you guys don't have it already installed search it up it's pretty quick and simple to install so make sure you get that and lastly i'm pretty sure 99 percent of you guys already have this plugin you do need sapphire so if you don't download it and get right back to this video so now let's jump right into this tutorial jumping straight into the composition i'm gonna click and drag my clip i already have what i need it's uh, a portion of the new nle video basically if you actually seen the nle music video you'll notice that this is the clip where i have the bullets flying by behind him so first things first i'm gonna roto brush the subject and then we can get started with the 3d so right when i'm finished with my roto basically all you want to do now is hit this freeze button basically it will lock the roto in place where if you ever did change the quality of the preview to full third half or quarter it won't mess up your roto and change in the process of you editing now to just make it more cleaner of a roto we want to go to our effects and presets and type refine soft matte right here click and drag onto the roto layer and you can honestly just choose whatever you want to use for like what i use personally is like around five my additional edge radius and i just usually bump up the smoothness and uh feather up to like the tens underneath the roto layer we're gonna make a new solid layer which is where our element 3d will be at so element 3d it should be under video copilot click and drag we're in the scene setup now and if you did download projectile weapons which you can get free there's a bunch of bullets here ranging from pistols shotgun shells sniper shells and etc the shell that i like to use is either the 45 millimeter or the 25 millimeter and now the texture alone it's fine it has that gold dirty look but if you guys do have pro shaders too you can go to the metals and scroll all the way down I like to use metal painted because it has this like nice blue blood look onto it to change the colors back to gold we're gonna go over here we're gonna scroll up to the basic colors change this blue to red and the reflectivity from white to a more golden look and that looks good now we can hit OK. we can hide the rotor layer our bullet will be right here so to scale it up we'll go to world transform and scale that up here's fine now for the position we're gonna bump it up because it'll be more on the higher end i'm gonna do two bullets so it's gonna be more on the higher end and then one's gonna be on the lower end and now to make it spin we're gonna open world rotation and we're gonna mess with our x rotation world go to the first frame of the clip hit the clock to make a keyframe right there and i'll go to the end of the clip and just bump this up to as much as you like obviously if you want to make it faster you just bump it up more now we're gonna do is go back to the first frame and hit the clock on the world position x y now we're gonna zoom out here so this is making it go left and right so let's bump this all the way to where the bullet's not on the screen anymore we're gonna go to the end of the clip and make it where it goes all the way to the right side and you'll get something like this now obviously that's a little slow we're gonna make this half of the clip this is where the bullet's gonna like end click and drag these keyframes put us in the middle and delete the other side basically it'll look like this now it is a lot faster than before but to make it even more faster we're going to animate the position so if we click and hover over these two keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy ease them we can go into our graph editor and just keyframe it where it's a lot faster now it'll look like this so right here on this hill is where the bullet will go fast and as it goes down to the end of the keyframe it will slow down so that's why you'll see it picks up speed a lot faster in the beginning and slows down towards the end you're asking now how do i do the trail the bullet trail the whole point of the tutorial now what you want to do is add an adjustment layer above it we're going to duplicate the bullet layer right now we're going to hide the main bullet layer on the bottom we're going to type echo which is a default plugin and apply it to the second layer now as you see basically doing what the effect is called it's echoing are you serious right now bro if we raise up the number of echoes to about nine you'll see there'll be a lot more bullets behind it the echo time right here it says negative 33 that's gonna really uh determine how close and how far you want your bullets to be i usually do negative 10 you get that closer look but if you do want a longer but close together trail you can do negative 15. 
right here which looks nice now you can also put the decay to about 80 it's a, it gets a lot darker when you get towards the end of the trail which is also a cool little touch of detail and also for your echo operator you can also just change this if you'd like to composite to front or back so we're going to keep the echo operator to add now what you want to do is right click on to the echoed bullet layer and pre-compose make sure you hit move all attributes and adjust composition duration checked now for this adjustment layer we're going to put this underneath the main bullet so now for the effect, we're gonna search up distort chroma. We're gonna click and drag this to our adjustment layer. As you'll see, it's very messy and it's like warping the whole clip. We don't want that. So to avoid it, we're gonna mess with our lens and matte from layer. Now our lens, we're gonna click none and click our echoed bullet layer. Same for the matte from layer. We're gonna do the same thing, echo bullet and change the source from source to effects and mask for both. So now you get this look looks pretty ugly doesn't look too cool the amount and blur lens is what we're gonna mess with you guys can honestly choose whatever you like these are my go-to settings for amount we're gonna put this to 100 and for blur lens we're gonna put it to 7 now as you see you see still the bullet you don't want to see the bullet so what we're gonna do is disable the echo layer now we get this like invisible bullet which is what we want it's good now we can honestly keep this in the hundreds and mess with the blur lens the blur lens is really what you want to mess with so look at this you have a little layer here where the bullet is going by now for the echoed bullet i did add another soft refine mat to soften the edges because i did notice that the edges here were getting very sharp so now you'll notice that the sharp edges are gone, which is better and it looks more cleaner for the effect. Now that we have a trail, this is what it looks like without the bullet. So you see, it's basically going over the clip and warping everything that's in its way. So now if we turn on our main bullet, you'll see that the bullet trail is following the bullet. Now you can make it where the bullet is a little more ahead. So look a lot more cleaner. You'll get more of the warp behind it. And this is what we get so far. So obviously you might not be satisfied. You want it to look more cleaner. Now to make the trail more noticeable, if you'd like, you can always just add onto this adjustment layer, but the key parts to make it look clean is obviously the lens and matte layer. So that's why the Sapphire plugins come into play because they have the option to just allow you to, you know, add an effect to the one part that's hidden. So for example, if I wanted to add a color to it, we can go to S underscore tritone, click and drag, and change from mask to layer to the echoed bullet and now only the trail will be black and white and then you get this now to make it look cleaner you can use rsmb or a nice shortcut is directional blur which is a default effect built into after effects to do that we're going to change our direction to 90 go into our first frame activate the blur go towards the middle and just bump this up looks clean just like that so now once we have everything set we can unhide the rotor layer and this is what it will look like the bullets behind him and the trails following now if you do want another bullet you know you just copy paste and put it behind here but now you're going to have to you know redo the layers for the lens and uh matte layers so obviously we want to change the positioning so let's just do that and now this is your final product just like that you just made a bullet trail effect in under like 10 minutes it is a pretty easy effect so if you guys did like and you learned something new today please drop a like down below subscribe if you're new leave any comments if you need help or suggestions on future tutorials i should be doing this is the bullet trail effect and i'll catch you in my next tutorial peace